ladies and gentlemen, right here we have the all new 2022 Lincoln Navigator right here. Of course, this is in short wheelbase form and there are some changes for this upcoming model here. I know this is just a mid-cycle facelift and not a full on new model. So let's dive into the changes right now. Coming around to the rear end, we can see an all new taillight bar going on around here. Definitely more cleaner, more a little bit more upscale, more modern and luxurious than the previous one, which is a little bit clunky. A really nice, clean, long light bar going across the entire rear end of the upcoming new 2022 Navigator. So we'll be hitting showrooms pretty soon. Generally, the overall shape and design of the vehicle is the same though. The only major changes are again, those rear taillights and coming out to the front, a slightly revised front end with a new grill shape and a new headlight design right here. <coughs> and of course, in this one, we also have the illuminated Lincoln logo right here, which looks really awesome. But generally, the exterior is pretty much the same. Over there, we have a new black label model called the Central Park Edition. So we have a special new green paint, a special new interior color, which is kind of like this greenish gray color, and a new trim. I'll put some images up there for you because this one is <laughs> no going on displays. But for this one, we can definitely hop in onto the interior, show you guys what Lincoln did change here. Hopping into the Navigator as usual, you do have these beautiful running boards over here on this particular model. And inside, again, it looks pretty similar to before. So when you may be looking at it the first hand, you'll be like, what did Lincoln actually change for the 22 model year? Well, those changes actually come onto the infotainment system in the center console right here. So as we can see right here, we have Lincoln's perfect position seats, which are as comfortable as usual. But the really big upgrade here is this all new infotainment system, which was a majorly needed upgrade, um, in my personal opinion. As you can see, it has a really nice nuclear screen, way larger, less giant chunky bezels, much faster, and um, a huge improvement and is definitely needed for this high-end luxury vehicle. Um, now, Lincoln's also including a few other new features that are pretty significant for 2022. As you can see right in front of me, there's this kind of little hump sticking out in front of the steering wheel. As you can see on camera, you can see some infrared lights. This is where Lincoln's new Active Glide driver system. So on a select highway, just like some kind of like Cadillac Super Cruise systems, it will technically drive itself. Um, of course, you always have to pay attention to what you're doing, but this is their new feature. They're calling it Active Glide. And this is part of Lincoln's kind of Copilot 360 safety system suite. Um, and that's kind of controlled through your steering wheel right here. You can see there are different systems to set it. Of course, we do also have a heads-up display, but the vehicle is not on right now, so we can't technically see that, but that'll pop up right in front of you right there. Um, just taking a quick look at this updated infotainment system, this is running the new kind of Sync 4 system right here, so it is pretty quick and responsive. You can see our mapping function, of course, it does have Apple CarPlay. We have 3D mapping on here, really quick, with this kind of the pinch and zoom feature, which is really nice. And again, all the similar stuff. I do like this little animation when you touch all the buttons and it's kind of like a little star animation. That's also kind of mimicked in your gauge cluster. This gauge cluster was updated slightly for 2022, but again, it's not the most customizable thing in the market at all. Um, and, and, and usually the engine under the hood, we have the same twin turbo 3.5 um, liter V6, but it makes like a little bit less power than before. I'm not sure if that's due to fuel regulations or they have to kind of change some exhausting or something, but that's a little bit of a weird thing. You probably won't notice that at all. Um, but thankfully, the Navigator does still have some really nice features inside, such as heated and cooled front seats. You do, you can get massaging seats as well. I believe this one does have massage buttons. So if you just push that button right there, there we go. And this will pop up up here for your multi-contour seats. You have massaging for the driver and passenger up front. Now, as this is the Navigator short wheelbase, you do have two seats back here. I believe you can get three instead of the captain chairs. And you do have a third row, but it is a little bit cramped. If you want that extra rear cargo space, you can go for the Navigator L, which I believe is the one up on stage right there. That will give you that extra rear car room over there. The center console of this one, again, nothing has really changed for this model year. We do have the nice same stitched leathering on all of the surfaces. This nice open pore wood trim is really beautiful. Of course, we have our consoles right here, wireless charging, um, our two cup holders right here, phone holder, USB-C, USB port over there. And again, that's pretty much it. This, do, this panoramic um, moonroof is really beautiful. Has helped it open the cabin even more than it already is. But that's pretty much all your changes for this new Navigator facelift. Thank you guys for taking a quick tour of me at the 2022 New York Auto Show and stay tuned for a lot more content coming really soon.